Hey guys, I'm going to put a coat of quick wax on my truck and talk about some of the other detailing products that I like to use. Stay tuned. So these are the products I've been using on my truck for the last two years. I've tried all kinds of them from different, different brands and um, different combinations, you know, trying to keep it all within one brand at a time, trying to keep it all within another. I find the harmony between these two. Just a couple of Meguiar products and just a few um, Chemical Guy products and, you know, a, a, a window cleaner is a window cleaner. It's, it's, it doesn't leave streaks. It's the best one. We, you know, I've used it in shops before. We all use it. And it, it's great for water spots on the outside and it's great for, I vape. So they're, you know, the VG kind of sticks to your windows once in a while and it doesn't wreck your tint. And it's a very gentle, mild window cleaner. So I, I, I love, I personally love this one. But I'll start in the interior. I use this for my dash, uh, co leather console, plastic trims, all kinds of stuff. And it creates a really nice shine without any of the armor all detriments of, of greasiness and nastiness getting all over your clothes. So this is my personal favorite I bought in another bottle. I use it in combination with this to do my floor mats or any other plastic trim that, you know, kick, kick panels, that kind of thing shines it up it's a tire shine but it's great it, it it doesn't it doesn't do what armor all does either it doesn't make a nasty stickiness and it doesn't sling when you when you spray it on your tires so it's great for the interior as well this is a fragrance and an odor eliminator you spray this in your floor panel and suck it in through your ac system it cleans out your ac for you know if there's any mold or mildew going on in there um, any, any bad contaminants in your filters or whatever with, with, with odor in them, it cleans it out good. This is my favorite quick detailer. I've tried them all, every brand. This one's my favorite. The hydrophobic properties, the cost, and the ease of application, bar none, best one I've ever used. This is, you know, I, I haven't really tried, I think I tried the Turtle Wax Tire Cleaner and the Meguiar's tire cleaner, but this, or sorry, wheel cleaner, but this is my favorite. It's, it's 10 bucks and it's got a, you know, it, it really soaps up or, um, it really suds up when you scrub it and it washes away just as easy. This one's my favorite. A quick wax is a quick wax to me. I don't really get too fancy with it. Um, I try to keep, you no, know, I'm trying to keep it to a couple companies now and I like the results and, you know, the application and removal of this the best. I got to put it on every couple weeks based on how much I have to wash my truck because of my tires and the rain and all kinds of stuff, construction sites. So I won't get too fancy anymore with any waxes or ceramic waxes, anything like that until I fully ceramic coat the truck um, to keep up with maintenance. But just as a basic quick wax, this one's my favorite. So if you can keep like, you know, all of these products together, we're talking probably 80 to to $100, depending where you get them. And as long as you, you know, just replenish them when you need to, keep it simple. It doesn't need to be complicated. You don't need to just stick to one brand. Find a product that helps you make your job easier, that gives you the results and the, the shine or the matte finish, whatever you may want inside of your truck. I like the shine. That's why I like, I like this. It gives it a good shine. Um, you know, Chemical Guys has a product that removes any kind of shine and it still protects the inside. Exterior wise, until you start getting into a ceramic coat, honestly, modern day waxes are just inferior. So that's why I just keep it to a couple and this touches things up, that applies a coating and yeah, I, I keep it to that. So I recommend all of these. If anybody wants to give them a try and let me know what they think, then feel free. So it's windy like always, and I'm gonna do this in here first. Um, I washed my truck two days ago. 
I drove probably 100k and came back home and for some reason I have nothing on my paint. Like it's rained and maybe it's washed any of the road stuff off of it, but I haven't driven in the rain. You know, whatever I've put on the paint is, is still kind of there. I don't have any water spots, don't have any issues like that that I got to touch up before I put on some wax. So that's good news. I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna talk about what I want to do next with the truck. Just got a couple of Walmart chamois here. That's all I'm gonna need. And you know, I, I take good care of them. These have lasted a long time. They're not super coarse and they don't scratch up your paint as long as you do it right. some groceries so yeah what I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh, I don't know if any of you guys caught what was going on with my brakes but since I, I went over this already the brakes have um, they definitely feel a little bit softer for some reason and I'm seeing a lot of heat marring and um, hot spots and um, it just it looks like they're on their way and I mean it's only been a few thousand K since I've I, I had a good look at them and I mean they looked worn in but they didn't look as bad as they look now so I think I'm gonna get on Amazon the power stop Z36 truck and trailer or sorry truck and towing brake kit um, they're vented they're drilled and they're slotted they come with ceramic carbon brakes and all the hardware and some grease and all that I mean it's, it's literally a one-click brake job which is very cool uh, you know I've, I've gone to I've gone through the whole going to the parts store picking you know do I want semi-metallic do I want ceramic what do we want to blend uh, what you know do we want the premium rotors do we want the middle grade yada 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 well it's a crock of crap is what it is it sucks it's going and getting parts at the parts stores now it sucks the quality's shit the service is shit i'm just i'm not i don't if i don't have to call a parts store for something i don't and the only reason i do is because i can't find it online um or figure out how to order it myself so the fact that I can get this kit on Amazon and for front and rear brakes for this pickup truck that are drilled slotted and have the features they do for after tax but 650 bucks delivered in two days good with me I'm gonna do it but yeah the brakes they just feel soft like I'm not I'm not really loving this right now um, I guess these wheels and tires and all the miles, you know, the truck's got, oh Jesus, I do only have 62,000 K on them. 
but it doesn't hurt. It really doesn't hurt. Like, you know, looking at this, I may think, I kind of just want to get to 70,000 K and call her a day. But the problem is, is the brake kit, it's like $165 off right now. And there's been a couple things on Amazon that I've wanted to get and I waited and it's bitten me in the ass because the sale, like, you know, the 50% sale or whatever it was, it's, it only lasted a few days. So I, I really have no idea how long these are going to be on sale for. I kind of just want to scoop them up now, but we'll, we'll see. So that's where I'm going to go with it next. I have no idea where my taillights are. I have no idea why it's taken as long as it has. Um, I'm really getting close to just calling them up and saying cancel the order, give my money back. I'll, I'll call somebody else and order them from them. So it's, you know, I, I, I did speak very highly of four wheel parts and I'm sure this isn't their fault, but the fact that it's taken as long as it has, I'm a little disappointed with them. Um, like we're not even talking on their way. We're not even talking left the manufacturer yet. We're talking hasn't even started. You know, they have my money and they're deciding whether or not I deserve to have these taillights. It's not right. So, yeah, that's what's in the works. I think we're gonna do some breaks, and when those taillights come in, we'll do the taillights, and go from there. You know, this tripod, I haven't figured out how to set it up in the truck yet. My, my windshield mount, obviously you guys are gonna be displeased with this, with this bouncing, so I'm gonna try and get rid of that, and, create a solution for that. I had the day off today and my shift got cancelled so I'm going to make use of it. Um, who knows if we got to work tomorrow. If I don't have to work tomorrow I'll work on it even more and we'll get the channel going. I'm, I, I'm starting to I'm starting to feel good about this and I'm starting to feel enthusiastic about YouTube. Anyways, take care guys. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next one.